free online books out today. Looking back at the interpretations and history of war in the last few centuries, Laura Brandon is the former historian, art and war at the Canadian War Museum and is currently a research associate. Laura, great to speak to you today. What is so special to you about war art? Why, why assemble this book? I've been working with war art for four decades. Um, I worked at the Canadian War Museum with its fantastic art collection for 25 years. And then after I retired, I decided I wanted to write a comprehensive book about war art in Canada because one didn't exist. And I was attracted by the Art Canada Institute because their books are digital and they're freely accessible. So we worked together. Um, Quite close to the beginning of my, my research, I, um, the, the, the report of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission came out, so it became imperative that we made an effort to include Indigenous um, war art uh, and its history. So uh, both uh, Indigenous and settler uh, military art weaves in and out of the narrative, which goes back as far in time as evidence um, provides. And, and so what about that narrative? What can we learn from the art? I mean, as you meant, you know, some of this starts from stone etchings all the way through to, you know, current modern day, the ability to take beautiful, crisp color pictures. Well, visual art is a form of communication. And what we can learn by looking at art and, and military art and war art in particular is we can come close to the experiences of the people that um, experienced it and uh, the people that fought, the people that witnessed conflict, and with the more historic art, get a sense of what it was like then. Art provides the opportunity to, to talk about events, to reflect upon events, and to think about our history, in its, uh, and as far as war and military art is concerned, to think about it in a military context. Um, as with the entire world, um, conflict is part of who we are. Mm -hmm. And visual, the visual culture of conflict is, provides a wonderful language to understand where it comes from and why it's important to think about it and reflect upon it. And Laura, we are a bit out of time, tight for time, but can you just tell people where they can find the book for us this morning? They can find the book on the Art Canada Institute website. It's live now. And if you put in Art Canada Institute and War Art, you should find it. Laura Brandon, thanks for taking a couple of minutes on our Remembrance Day program to talk more about this. Uh, really pleased, and hopefully people will be digging into this and learning more. Thanks for your time this morning. You're very welcome.